This video is sponsored by CS Money. Trade your skins fast and easy, it's safe to use, and it includes a balance system for more skins. You can also buy skins now on the site. Check it out, the link is in the video description. Hey guys, salut mes amis, ok, hello goodbye. Maxime here. Finally, the E League Major update for CSGO is out. Team stickers, team graffitis, and player stickers by pro players are now available to buy in the game. Like I said in my previous update video, we will now get 24 team stickers instead of 16. And 50% of the proceeds of all stickers go to the players and organizations to support them. You can even start the pick'em challenge like the last major, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'll wait until next year. For those of you who don't know how this works, you need to predict which teams will advance to earn points so you get the Pick'em Trophy. In order to predict the teams, you need to buy team stickers. Don't worry, even if you use them in the Pick'em Challenge, you will get them back. We need to start our predictions before January 12 to enter the first preliminary stage. Since there's 24 teams instead of 16 this time, we have three stages instead of two stages. The second stage is called the group stage and then we have the playoffs. Here's how the pick'em challenge trophies look. The more points you have, the closer to gold. This major, I'm gonna do it. I'll go more into details in another video. This video is to cover the update. Speaking of update, here's the log. And like always, I'll go through the most interesting parts of it. Valve has so-called deployed the holiday cheer for our festive fragging season. Chickens now go around with this ugly Christmas weather and there's a new shotgun spread that is now out. It's turned off by default so people can try it out on their offline servers and you can use the command weapon accuracy shotgun spread patterns to turn it on. The best way to explain the new spread is that it works pretty much the same way as normal recoil does on other weapons. And each shotgun has a unique pattern. For example, here's how the Swag 7's spread looks like. I think this is a great update and it definitely increases the skill gap because now you can sort of learn the different spreads for each shotgun. I'm looking forward to this being on by default. Apart from that, there's been some smaller changes and fixes like always, but now we finally have images for the new Series 3 pins that I covered in a previous video. And I have to say, some of them look pretty sick. My favorites are Death Sentence, Brigadier General, and of course the Howl, which I said in my previous video that I think will be the most popular choice, and it looks gorgeous. So yes, I'm pretty sure this is the one that most people will be hyped about. The pins are not out yet, but they will be out for the Major. Oh, and Valve accidentally misspelled Squeezy here. Anyway, there's no new skins for this update, which seems fair. They probably wanted to focus on the stickers and the pick'em challenge. The last thing I want to mention is that we also get souvenir packages, like last time, that will drop while the Major is being played. That's pretty much the update. Are you looking forward to the Major and which stickers are you getting? Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you follow me on other social medias as well so you don't miss out. I'll see you guys in the next one and go bananas.